Hey guys, what's up? And it's Juan, and this is the HTC One M8 Gunmetal Gray Edition. And welcome to my full unboxing of this device. Now, this is HTC's newest flagship of the year. And if we go ahead and take a look at the packaging, you'll see that on the back it tells you most of the specs. I'm gonna go ahead and run over some of the more important ones, like that it has 32 gigabytes of storage and 2 gigabytes of RAM, um, 128 gigabytes for micro SD. A 5 inch full HD 1080p display, a 4 ultra pixel megapixel, a 4 megapixel ultra pixel camera with duo sensor, and a 5 megapixel front facing camera, and it also has HTC Sense 6 running atop Android 4.4.2, so a very high end device overall, in my opinion. And if we go ahead and take a look, and we, if we go ahead and unbox the device, you'll see I'm using my keys here. Um, it has a bunch of plastic wrapped around it, and that's why I need my keys, just to cut through the plastic and everything. But once I'm done with that, I'll just put away the keys, unwrap the device from the plastic. The, there, the plastic's a little bit clearer since I'm wrapping it, since I'm taking it off of the device, and put the device back on the desk. And then after that, I'll go ahead and take it out of the packaging and let you see the device in all of its glory. And there it is, the HTC One. M8 um, in all of its glory, and this is the Gunmetal Gray Edition here, just in case you guys didn't know, and this is the 32 gigabyte unlocked variant from Amazon, and it's a really nice device, I really really like it so far, but this isn't a first impressions video, this is just an unboxing, so let's get to it. Here are all of the accessories, putting aside the HTC One M8, it comes with a couple of accessories like the micro wall adapter, the micro USB wall adapter that connects to the micro USB cord. Um, the HTC, the standard HTC earbuds with the red tips, and the micro USB adapter so you can plug it into your computer and charge it. So here are all the accessories in one last shot, and here are the headphones, the adapter, and the cord. And let's take off the protective plastic off of the device. As you can see, it covers the camera, but not the depth sensor. And of course, it covers pretty much all of the screen. So bring the device back over, let's go ahead and power it on by holding down the power button at the top right corner where HTC is so fond of putting it but I just think it's really misplaced I think it should be on the side but here's one last shot um, of the HTC One M8 um, I cut the video so then while it boots up you guys can see the device so here's the device in the gunmetal grey color and the gunmetal grey has a nice brush metallic finish which looks really really nice on the device and I really like it but it also comes in glacial silver and amber gold so here's the screen and it has the same resolution and size as the Nexus 5 that I'm coming from, a 5 inch 1080p display, but this has a Super LCD 3 panel while the Nexus 5 is an IPS panel, but I'll be going over that in my full Nexus 5 comparison. So here's the Nexus 5 with the little size comparison against the M8. As you can see, the Nexus 5 is quite a bit smaller because the M8 has the size, has to house those big boom sound speakers, but other than that, there's the same screen size. Now, I will be doing a comparison between these two, so stay tuned to the channel, and make sure to give this video a like if it helped you out at all, or you just liked it in general, and as always, make sure to comment on any feedback or questions you may have down below. Make sure to subscribe to, to the channel to see more epic content like this, and as always, thanks for watching, and have a great day.